This is Dan Meyer with RCR Wireless News. We are here on the streets of Baltimore in uh, Camden Yards, uh, home of uh, both the Orioles as well as uh, Sprint Next Hill's WiMAX network, as well as uh, Verizon Wireless's LT network. And we figured while we were in town, we would do a little speed testing to see what uh, consumers on the streets here in Baltimore would expect to get uh, speed-wise from their smartphones. First up to bat here is the uh, Verizon Wireless Droid Charge, which runs on their LTE network. We are using the uh, Ookla uh, application to uh, test the speeds here, and we'll see what we get here uh, on the device. Now for their services, Verizon does uh, uh, advertise uh, download speeds of between 5 and 12 megabits per second uh, for consumers. We'll see how close we get to that on the, on the downlink here. All right, there we go. So it looks like uh, for the latency, we got a 306 milliseconds, which is a little bit high for a typical LTE network, but not out of range. Uh, for download speeds, uh, 5.6 megabits per second, which is uh, in line with what Verizon uh, Wireless advertises, so not too out of line there either. Upload speeds, uh, just over 2 megabits, which is maybe on the low end, but still uh, pretty fast for a mobile broadband service. Uh, I think overall, it uh, seems like the network here in the Baltimore area seems to be uh, up to snuff. Next up, we'll have the uh, Sprint Nextel Evo 4G device running on Sprint's WiMAX network here in the town. Uh, it should be noted, too, that uh, the uh, Baltimore market was the first market that uh, Sprint Nextel launched its WiMAX service a couple of years ago. So, uh, theoretically, it should have the uh, most robust coverage uh, in the area. So, we'll see what we get here. All right, well, you can see from the uh, latency test there, 118 milliseconds, which is considerably faster than the Verizon Wireless LTE network and, uh, and very fast for, for pretty much any mobile broadband network. Uh, download speed of just over 7.7 .7 megabits per second, which is uh, on the high side really for what, uh, what Sprint advertises. They typically advertise between 3 and 6 megabits per second, so 7.7 .7 is very fast. On the, de on the uh, upload speed, uh, just over uh, 1.4 megabits, which is pretty much in line with uh, what you get with the WiMAX network. I think uh, uh, Sprint Nextel in general kind of limits uh, upload speeds to around 1.5 megabits so uh, it's hitting that that pretty closely so overall looked like the uh, the Sprint Nextel uh, network here in town is, is, is very robust. All right well as we can see uh, both networks perform pretty well here on the Baltimore market. Uh, the Sprint network uh, performed very well I would say. The WiMAX uh, network here is very robust uh, which you know I guess makes sense since this was one of the first markets where they launched service. Uh, provide network speeds on the higher end of their advertised range and seem to really perform pretty well in the area. Uh, Verizon Wireless's LTE network also performed very well, uh, maybe at the lower end of its advertised ratings, but still uh, a very robust network. I think overall consumers in the area should, uh, should see uh, pretty good uh, mobile broadband speeds with their, with their devices. Again, this is Dan Meyer with RCR Wireless News in Baltimore.